Hi, Michelle from Bird Cage and Thread here with a video tutorial showing you how to do the math to make a cylindrical bag any size you want. I'll show you how to make the fabric cylinder fit the circular bottom piece perfectly. In this example, I'm making this water bottle carrier, but you can use it to make other cylindrical projects as well. I'll put a link in the description box below where you can download a worksheet with the math as a reference. This is not a tutorial to show you how to make the cover, just the math. If you'd like a tutorial on this water bottle cover, leave a comment below and if there's enough interest, I'll do this cover as a tutorial. So grab your calculator and let's get started. To get started, you need to measure around the object. In my case, I'm using this water bottle. So take a tape measure and wrap it around at its widest point. Mine measures approximately eight and three quarter inches. However, you also need to account for the bulk of the fabrics and interfacing you're using. Obviously, the thicker the interfacing you choose, the more you need to allow. I'm going to measure mine at 10 and a quarter inches. Then you need to add two seam allowances. I'm using quarter inch seam allowance, so that means I'll add half an inch. Then you measure from the bottom of your object up to where you'd like it to finish. So in my case, I'd like it to finish here, which is eight inches. And then just as you did before, add two seam allowances. So I'll cut my fabric 10 and three quarter inches wide by eight and a half inches high. Next, we need to work out the size of the circle for the bottom. To do this, take your width measurement and take away both seam allowances. In my case, this number is 10 and a quarter, which is 10 and three quarters less half an inch. Then divide this number by the math constant pi, which is 3.142. So I'm doing 10 and a quarter divided by 3.142, which gives me a result of 3.26, which is approximately three and a quarter inches. This will give you the diameter of the circle that the cylinder will fit. Remember that the diameter of the circle is the measurement going across the middle of the circle from one edge to the other. Then you need to add two seam allowances to the diameter. In my case, I'll make a circle three and three quarter inches in diameter. So you can see that from one edge to one edge is three and three quarter inches and where the actual cylinder will be sewn that is three and a quarter inches which is what I've calculated here. To make the circle the exact size you need you can either draw the circle using a compass or draw it digitally. I made mine using Microsoft Word's shape feature. I typed in the exact size circle I needed and then printed. So to sew the cylinder to the circular base, you need to cut clips into the seam allowance of the cylinder only. These clips need to be slightly less than your seam allowance. There's no need to cut clips in the circle. So make your clips a quarter inch apart or so, maybe a little bit more. Now you're going to pin or wonder clip the cylinder to the circular base and sew it in place. You can use quarter points if you like, but I'm just going to go ahead and want to clip it all in place.
So when you go to sew, make sure that the cylinder is on top and the circular piece underneath on the bed of your machine. So now that the base is sewn to the cylinder, you can see there's no puckers in the seam. And I'll turn it right side out so you can take a look at the outside. And you can see that the bottom fits the cylinder nicely. And this is what the lining looks like. And you can see that there's no puckers. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.